I use jet engines like this in a lot of my projects, mostly because I like extreme and jet engines are pretty extreme. And since I'm using jet engines in a bunch of upcoming videos, I figured it would only be appropriate to show everybody what's going on inside of a jet engine. So I'm gonna put together a see-through jet engine, start it up and film it in slow motion. Let's go. Looks like we're about 0 0.005 grams out of balance. I got it almost perfect. It's off balance by one thousandth of a gram on plane one and two thousandths of a gram on plane two. That's good enough for me. Let's move on. Now that I have my rotating assembly balanced, which is one of the most important parts of putting together any size jet engine, I'm just gonna slide this in here and I'm gonna go over the basic operation of this type of jet engine and what part does what. When I explain how turbo jet engines like this work to people who are not familiar with jet engines but are familiar with cars, I always use four stroke as a good example. Intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust all in one continuous cycle. But since you have all these happening in a linear continuous fashion, that makes this a Brayton cycle. A Brayton cycle is simply compression, combustion, expansion equals volume. Overall, the way these jet engines work is pretty simple. The air enters the intake here, gets compressed by the compressor. That compressed air moves through the stator into the combustor where it gets mixed with fuel, gets ignited, creating heat and expanding gases, which come out the back of the engine, push the turbine wheel, powering the compressor to complete the cycle as well as producing thrust. Now that you have a better idea for how these jet engines work, I'm gonna finish putting this together. I'm all done building my see-through jet engine and it came out really good. It's nice and transparent, solid, feels strong, and it needs to be to handle all that compression, heat, and power. Without further ado, let me get it mounted, start it up, and see what it looks like inside of this jet engine while it's running. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. I'm a little bit nervous, but I think it's gonna work.
that's hot. Oh yeah, that case is burning hot. Wow, that really worked out well. And it really gives you an idea how much pressure is in the cold side of that engine because it blew out my silicone gasket. And uh, yeah, that had quite a bit of pressure on it. And to give you an idea how much air is actually moving through one of these engines, you can see the stains from the flow of the air. That's how much air actually moves through these. I don't know how many CFM this is. Actually, it's measured in pounds per minute. I'm glad to say that that went really, really well. I do want to do one more experiment before finishing this video. I'm going to hook up the fog machine, start the engine one more time, and pump some fog into the front of the machine right here and see if we can actually see the airflow going into the engine and maybe the airflow inside of the engine. I'm not really sure, but it's worth a shot. Oops, I accidentally left the fog machine on and closed the door. Feeling pretty confident. All right, so the flow characteristics weren't as cool as I thought they were gonna be. I thought we were gonna see a lot more, but that does prove my point and that does give you the idea that these type of jet engines or jet engines in general don't really pull in that much volume of air for the amount of thrust that they produce. A lot of people think like if it's 80 pounds of thrust, it pulls in 70 pounds of air. That's not the case. Most of the energy comes from the fuel. That's the entire idea behind jet engines. I was really surprised that this whole thing survived, but overall that looked pretty cool. I've always wondered what was going on behind that cover when these engines were running, especially when I did that jet powered Tesla, just to imagine kind of what was going on inside and to be able to see it, that was definitely pretty cool. I was surprised that this whole thing worked and didn't blow apart, but it worked. So that's about it. The see-through jet engine was a success, and uh, this is part one. I'm gonna do a follow-up, uh, you know, think of some creative idea to kind of see inside of that combustor. I really wanna see how that glow plug is working and how the starting mechanism works and all that other stuff. And let me know if you're interested in that too, and I'll come back with a part two of this. I have something really creative in mind. But other than that, I thought this thing was gonna blow up for sure. I was like, this is one of the first projects I did where I was trying to like throttle it up, and I'm like, uh, should I go all the way? I was like sweating under the armpits with this thing. So, but it worked. It was successful. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Don't forget. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Cut it.